So, hello and welcome. My name's Steve Nabell, and today I'm speaking with Melissa Lee Costa on Channeling the Hathors. Melissa is a clear channel, Akashic medium, healer, and spiritual teacher. As a channel, she communicates with spirit and with galactic light beings to bring forth messages of wisdom, ascension, guidance, and love. And Melissa has devoted herself to soul healing and expansion of a higher dimensional light. And her website, which goes out with this podcast, is melissaleecosta.com. And that will go out with this podcast. So, hi, Melissa. Hi, Steve. Thank you so much for having me. I, I love your podcast. I, I listen to all of them. So, I feel um, very uh, blessed to be joining you today. Oh, thank you. Well, I've, I, I'm really excited about this particular one, Channeling the Hathors. Uh, I have come across them before, but um, never in a direct conversation like uh, we're going to have today. So before we start, can I just ask you, how did you come to connect with these beings? So it, it was uh, interesting. I, you know, through my um, healing and, and awakening journey, um, the more I was developing a connection with my spirit guides, my higher self, um, I started to see visions, um, mostly in, in the evening time when um, my energy field was more calm and uh, serene. Uh, and one night I was lying in bed and I see from across the room a, a silhouette, a, a shadowy spirit figure against my wall. And it was this Egyptian figure and I could see her face and it was just so mesmerizing. It's one of those experiences that I think healers often talk about where their whole, you know, path changes because that set me on this this kind of discovery journey about you know who was this being and and after I believed it was a half or through my Akashic records readings that I at that time was doing um, for my own self healing, the Hathor guide stepped through and was channeling through me, and I've been channeling them ever since. So it, it's it's really such a healing energy um, when it does come through, and it has helped me tremendously on my my own path. So. I am a big fan of the Hathors <laughs> and all multidimensional beings for that matter. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> or higher or higher dimensional <laughs> beings. <laughs> can you can you say something about these beings so people have never heard them before? Yes. So and this is from my own experience um, and how they've come into my life has been a a guide for ascension, for the healing of the divine feminine. Really their work through me is healing my own within the the feminine energy on the planet. So the messages are are very much about over overcoming certain fears or um, having self love, believing um, in my gifts, other people believing in their gifts. It, they're all very much about about healing. And what's interesting is that I channel other um, star beings as well. But so far, the Hathors are the ones who have given me a lot of uh, tools or new technologies for healing. One of them was to clear and cleanse my space in my sacred space where I work. It's the seven sacred serpents, and it's through your extremities. So, you know, your hands and your feet and then your head, and then on top of your head, you picture and visualize a serpent. It's sucking in all of the darker, lower density energy around you. And and they have said that through frequency and through sound is where the connection to enlightened thoughts or healing technologies, you know, saying in speaking out loud. Another one was envisioning a, a lead ball, you know, attached to a rope swinging around me like, whew, whew, whew. and as you're saying it and, and, and you're feeling it, all of the dense energy clearing out. So as opposed to, you know, saging or, or cleansing and clearing the space, I've, I've used some of the, the different methods that um, they've showed me or, or, or spoke through um, our channeling sessions. So it's really great feel as though channeling or people who are open to channel 
this is where their own personal higher information can come through. Um, and I know it's different for everyone. And, and that's why it's important to always say this is, you know, through my own experience, because there are other channels who um, also uh, channel the Hathors and other star beings, and the information could be different, it could be the same. But the importance is to know that our birthright and our, you know, gift that we have all been given and can open to is receiving our own higher dimensional wisdom. Now, I know you're going to uh, connect with them now. And so, um, Melissa, just give you the opportunity to, to do that. Okay. So, you drink some water. Hmm. Okay. So, um, when I connect, I, I'm actually holding uh, the two crystals um, in my hands that sometimes through scrying, I can see the, the Hathors in these crystals. So I'm holding each one, one in my left and one in my right. And after I take some deep breaths, I will speak light language, which helps me align and center into the space. And then we will speak to them. Okay, so. Bre ishe ko shum na he shi e ko to hushi ki mon na ishe shi e to ko do shi e te he shi an o ko to mon ki a te shi ki e te e ti a to te ko a te bre o shi e hi hi o to ko shi an e hi hi e o ta e shi e o to o shi to te ki a e ni ki e te e o to o to o en shi e ta a te bre o shi e shi ka o ta e ki e tre e ki mo shi ki e ni e so I want to welcome you through Melissa and thank you for coming and my first question to you is can you tell us something about the history of your past connections to this planet Hello, dear ones. It is wonderful to be here with you now. And the question is, what is the Hathor's connection to the Earth and to the other civilizations? The Hathors have been here in this multi-dimensional field for much longer than you know. We have not always gone by the name the Hathors. We have been many other things. Only in this timeline where you find yourself now in this fractal are we called the Hathors. There have been many names, names in which you are not aware. Our energetic frequency is of a higher plane. And in doing so, we are an ascended race of beings. And names here do not matter much, as you know. It is the frequency of the name Hathor. Hathor is the sound frequency that resonates now with you and those humans who are open to our healing now. In other times, we have been called other frequencies. In your human language, you feel and hear and sense the sound which comes out through a vibratory field each 
sound and name is what resonates with that timeline. So, in other frequencies, other timelines, our name, our resonance, a the other song, if you will, was heard differently, you see? Yeah, thank you so much. As an ascended race, can you explain to us your role in this time of ascension on planet Earth? It is for healing. It is for wisdom. We are shepherds of the light. The light is also frequency. The light is knowledge. And as a higher dimensional being and race, we carry with us higher light codes that are all in different shapes, sacred geometrical shapes within our energetic field. And that wisdom we share through our human counterparts, our human participants, such as the human who sits in the chair now is an open channel for this information. Even she does not know what message will come through. And sharing this message with you, answering your questions. This is a timeline that you both find yourself on. And because we are able to impart this information because there are receptors on Earth, on Gaia now, who carry with them inside of their DNA, their templates. They carry the openness, the aptitude to receive these messages. So as soon as they open up into their light and carry more light, their vibration is higher. They are ascending. They can then connect with the pureness of this information and then share and communicate with others. Our mission is solely to share the light. Mm, wonderful. Do these human participants and receptors have connections to the Hathor races so they can do this job? Yes, they are working with us now as different aspects of themselves. Like an accordion that you have in your hand, this instrument, it is for a human quite difficult to play. But when you open this instrument, you see that it stretches and there is much more that can be seen that was hidden before. That is very much like what a human has. These abilities, other aspects of themselves that are participating in different missions throughout different parts of the galaxy. We are working with them now as different aspects. Also, a higher dimensional aspect of themselves carries this DNA, this soul imprint within them. They are keepers of these codes. And as soon as they are activated, they can then transmit. They are a transductor of these light codes which then finds itself as the sound that enters into your ears so yes they are familiar with us this is the way in which the human decides in their soul path before incarnating how they will work if they open if they reach that point that is their soul mission and when they do it is a waterfall of 
effect and impact. Not only do they have this access, but they also have this ability to heal through these transmissions. The cells in their body respond. Their own templates inside light up. And when they share this information, the other humans who would hear these messages, no matter which channel it is, that does not matter. A pure channel of the Hathors have the ability to transmute the information and transmute healing through the words, through the sounds of what is coming through to the others. So it is a multi-dimensional quantum healing modality technology channeling. Mm. Channeling the light, it heals the channel and it heals the listener even to when they do not know these is what is taking place within their energetic body and within the geometrical structures that are floating through the sounds of their voice and i will also say that it is very advised if you are a writer channel, meaning that you are channeling information through the writing or written word to speak your words out loud, to speak them as well, because that is a higher aspect of healing the sound. The sound is is very important. You can feel the sound, yes. But to speak it to others is the highest form, the purest form of the communication in, in what the intention to be said. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. So can I ask you about the dimensional shift we're going through, this ascensional shift? Can you say something about this shift? Is it a gradual thing since the 2012 trigger or will it be very sudden waves or, or as some people think, the kind of people ascending? There, There is no leaving the uh, planet as in going to some place. And as far as time or how long would it take, we, we ha or would it be fast? There is no time where we are, where we find ourselves is in a timeless, free, floating space. To explain this to the humans is quite difficult, and that is part of the ascension process and the higher dimensional wisdom. The human will know when they have reached such a place because they begin to initiate and understand what it means to separate from lower density time. This is the aspect, the lower frequency, lower dimensional belief it is a thought form, you see. Mm. It is not real, but it is only feeling real to humans because consciousness thought forms support this. It has been cognized through time, like when a human becomes sick in their heart, plaque builds up in their physical structure, in their arteries. This is just like what it is when you have these lower density thought forms in your consciousness. It's like plaque building up and it slows down the flow, the flow of the human, their life force blood in their body going through their physical structure. This is same with the 
thought of time. So, yes, the consciousness now or ascension is happening on certain timelines. So, in one day, you can be on the ascended timeline and then the next day, you can be in lower density energy. And it is very important for those humans who are on their path, understanding this, to free themselves of any any thought forms that make them feel fear, make them feel anxiety, or anything that is separate from the now moment, separate, anything separate. We are all connected and must all heal this thought form that has cognized with time. So to answer your question about whether or not you will or will humans ascend or leave the planet, the only humans who will leave the planet are those who will transition because they cannot hold in their energetic field the higher frequencies that and higher vibration that is coming through. Mm. This is what's making people uh, sick and they are aging faster because they cannot hold this light. They are like a balloon that is sucking in the air and pop, they pop and then they transition. It is the human's job, the light workers, the star seeds, the carriers of these imprints and templates and wisdom and knowledge. I can give many, many names, but I know you understand what I am saying with the humans who are in this space with us now here. Mm. This is what they must do. They must expand like the balloon who can take in as much air as possible. And the way that that can be done is to raise your vibration. The higher your vibration, the more wisdom, the pure wisdom, the more light you can receive and carry. It is the healing way. It is what they call youthing. This is how you stay on the planet. To ascend, you can still be in the same time, space, reality, dimensional field that you are in with going nowhere. It is only your vibration that is rising and touching and connecting with higher wisdom. That is where joy truly is. That is where peace in your heart can be felt. Only temporary love, joy, peace is felt when you are still living in time, space, reality, thinking that things end, things begin, they do not. There only is the now moment. We are speaking through our human counterpart in a time-space continuum. She has asked us before where we are so she can understand how to connect with us. We give her a visualization that we are here behind the curtain. She must only move it and look inside. We aren't anywhere but here. It is only your separation of the curtain that exists, you see? Mm, wonderful, thank you. Now I know you're going to lead us into a meditation, I guess a healing meditation, so I want to thank you for all the information you've shared and wisdom you've shared and thank you for being here and uh, I'll open the space for you for the meditation. Dear light ones, 
that have ears to hear these words now. Feel yourself in your most beautiful, most alive place in your mind. It may be a tree, it may be the ocean, it may be simply nowhere. Feel yourself in a beautiful bubble of green and golden light. This is a minty, refreshing and clearing, cleaning color. This is where the energy swirls around you and helps you breathe in the life force air of Mother Earth, which is your blessing and gift. In every breath, there is the opportunity to align and become present in the now. This bubble that surrounds you in your favorite place is where you can step into at any moment that you feel sadness, anger, doubt, worry, fear, judgment, any lower density mess, you can step into this bubble of green and gold healing light and release these feelings and thought forms back into the loving atmosphere of Mother Earth, of Gaia. In this moment, in your heart space, this is your center. This is the root of you in the now. Put your hand on your heart. Feel the warmth that is coming through you as this living miracle that you are. You are here for a reason. You hear these words for a reason. In every moment, there is an opportunity to touch your heart and remember that you are a miracle. Your life is sacred. You are a multi-dimensional being with abilities that far expand beyond your 3D concept of what a human is and what a human can become. Allow yourself in this bubble to welcome healing with your intention, to ask for guidance, to give yourself permission to love yourself to shine and to transmit that love to others. To understand and to know without question or doubt that all is well. That you are divine. 
and that there is a purpose that you carry within you all you must do is remember it is not knowledge you see in this bubble it is only remembering who you are who you have been who you are now this will help you align at any time you wish for answers or you wish to just release the bubble is always protecting you to see it your intention must be given and it will be around you always we send you love and light and many many blessings we love all humanity and we will be here for you always until then this is now and so it is <laughs>